Hey guys, what is up? Gokosing Valley Model Railroad speaking. Well, I'm going to do a kind of a video on this American Flyer O-Gauge Switch. I'm guessing it's pre-war, probably mid-1920s, uh, actually post-war era three-rail American Flyer Switch. Now, um, they were selling, I, I've had four of these or three of these so far. And I never knew how to operate these, so I kind of figured out, kind of experimenting with how to f make these things work. So these two here are for the track power, and then these two here go to the, like, the power source between here and here that add up to, what, 20-some volts? Probably 15 volts, direct AC current. So... So as I was experimenting with it, I saw the... Switch controls like this, or this is an Atlas road, so I was kind of experimenting with that to see if this would work. So they were selling the controllers for this type of switch, this American Flyer O-Gauge switch, online for like 20-some dollars just for the these controllers for this thing. I thought, well, I could figure out a way to make this work. So I found these old Atlas switch motor, or Atlas controllers for the switch tracks, and usually the third line is your ground for your switch. So, you know, that's common. On these American Flyer ones, they were only two wires going to green and red. So that would power the light and stuff like that. Get out of the way. So what I did was I hooked the two up and I got power to it. So this is what I got. And, you know, with the track, this is track power. So watch what happens if I take that off it does not light up. When it lights up, it gets power. So, testing this motor, it does this. I got it to work, and it, this is what it does now. It switches really good. So, the other ones, the other American Flyer switches I have, have colored bulbs. Now, I'm thinking maybe down the road I might get some nail polish. And maybe paint these things one green, one red, maybe down in the future. But I wanted to see how this would work with this uh, new way of making it work using the Atlas Throw. And I thought you guys might like this little tutorial. If you have an old O-Gauge American Flyer switch track and you want to try to get it to work, figure out a way like this. And this actually works with March trains and... O-gauge trains really well because uh, it's a solid rail across, not like the bump, like the American Flyer or the uh, Lionel switches have. I prefer the marks of the American Flyer O-gauge switches like this because I can run my marks trains over it. And the nice thing is figuring out a way to experiment to make it work. And I thought you guys might like this little video on how I did this and how this worked. And, um... And it actually works quite well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Cozing Valley Model Railroad signing out.